Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Windows tip of the week and in this tip slash review We're gonna be taking a look at Rocket Dock if you're looking to have a sleek animated application launcher similar to the Mac or just Looking for something different and free Rocket Dock may be your best bet as noted on their site It provides a nice clean interface to drop shortcuts on for easy access and organization Each item is completely customizable It's so easy to set up even a caveman can do it simply connect to the internet The next day, go to rocketdoc.com, click download at the top, install it, and you're good to go. This will work in Windows 2000, XP, Vista, and 7. You'll need at least 500 megahertz or faster CPU and 10 megabits of RAM free. Looks like that might be a problem. There are many different settings you can adjust, such as icon size, opacity, the hover effect, position, the style, and behavior. If you want to completely rid of your Windows taskbar, you can even choose to minimize Windows to the dock. Then you can either go to the taskbar, start menu properties to auto hide the taskbar, or check the link in the description on how to completely disable the taskbar if you dare. Adding icons to the dock are as simple as clicking and dragging them to it. Removing them is as simple as clicking and dragging them off. You can move icons around and even lock everything in place. I think that caveman is starting to get confused now. Let's say you don't particularly like the design of the dock. No problem. Go back online. And at RocketDock.com, you'll find various add-ons. Anything from icons, skins, walls, and more. Everything's rated so you know how good that pink icon set you're looking at is. I've used this for a few weeks and I like it. It's a little different to get used to, especially when you've used Windows all your life and know the taskbar blindfolded. It could possibly be very helpful to those switching from a Mac to PC. Dun dun dun. Who wrote that? I did. That's it for this week's Windows tip. Hopefully you found it useful. You can always subscribe to this channel for free weekly tips and tutorials just like this one. If you have any suggestions for Windows tips, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Follow at Rob's Productions on Twitter and like us on Facebook.